developers looking for a way to store secrets for their applications like credentials often turn to the popular secret management tool HashiCorp Vault. In this video, we'll cover how to authenticate to HashiCorp Vault using Google Cloud Credentials. I'm Emily, an engineer working on Google Cloud Platform and open source integrations between Cloud and HashiCorp Vault. And I'm Andy, a product manager at HashiCorp and the Vault team. Vault is a secrets management tool that enables organizations to centrally secure, store, and access control secrets across distributed infrastructure and applications. In the last video, we deployed our 80s video game application, Hyperspace, on Google Cloud Platform using Terraform. Today, we'll be changing gears a bit and talking about security. Let's say we launched Hyperspace a year ago to great success, and now we're looking to monetize our game by letting players buy extra lives. In order to do that, we need to accept payments. However, the API key to our payment gateway is very sensitive. If we were to lose it, someone malicious could possibly steal our money. This payments API key is what many developers refer to as a secret. We hear this use case a lot from the customers. How should I securely store secrets that my applications need a build or runtime? Developers working in public cloud or multi-cloud environments need a way to store credentials, configuration files, and many other secrets for both their applications and themselves. And he's going to show us how to solve this on GCP using Vault, an open source tool by HashiCorp. Yes, I am. HashiCorp Vault manages storing, encrypting, and managing access to secrets. It has multiple authentication backends, which provide different options for using your own identities to identify users in Vault. Vault also has many secret backends for managing different kinds of secrets, like the Payments API key. Can you explain what authentication backend is, Andy? Great question. So Vault behaves conceptually similar to a website with multiple authentication methods. Just like you can log in with Google on a website, administrators can configure Vault to allow users or machines to log in and access other secrets in Vault. Vault is also pluggable, so you can use a built-in backend or write your own authentication method if you need to. That's right. The LDAP or GitHub OS backends are great options for developers since they allow users to log in with LDAP or GitHub API key. In our case, our video game is running on GCE instances, so the GCP OS backend is a great choice. That does sound perfect. How does it work? Well, using this backend, developers or applications can authenticate to Vault using two types of GCP credentials. The IAM option lets you use your IAM service account, and the Google Compute Engine or GCE metadata option allows your GCE instances to use signed VM metadata tokens to authenticate. So the video game GCE service can either use their GCE metadata or their associated IAM service account to authenticate to Vault? Yeah. I think the GC method is especially cool. Since the metadata token can be obtained on startup without additional authorization, you won't need to hard code any initial secrets into a startup script or set super secret environment variables. Yay, no hard coding. Should we show how the authentication backend works? Let's do it. All right. So for this demo, we've already got a Vault server up and running on a separate GC instance, and someone has already stored our payments API key, as you can see. In this terminal, we first shelled into the instance that our Vault server is running on. First. An admin for your Vault server will need to enable the authentication backend. Next, the backend treats GCP as a trusted third party, so it needs credentials to make calls to GCP APIs to confirm identity. The admin can set these credentials using the config endpoint. Next, the admin needs to add roles. Vault has the concept of policies, which determine what secrets a user can access. Roles bind these predefined policies to generated auth tokens to restrict what secrets can be accessed by a user. On our server, we've already added the payments policy that allows access to our API key. So let's add a GCE role. We mentioned that the backend allows either GCE instances or IAM service accounts to authenticate. Is that what the GCE type argument means? That's correct. It means the backend will expect GCE metadata when authenticating under this role. We've also added a project ID and bound zone to only authorize any GCE instances in this project and zone. You can also use things like instance groups, labels, or associated service accounts to limit what instances can log in under this role. So now the GCP backend is set up. How do we actually authenticate to Vault? Let's switch terminals. We've shelled into one of our game's front-end VMs here. Um, the GC authentication method requires an instance present an identity metadata token. So let's actually get this from the metadata server. Note that this request doesn't require any further authentication. Metadata is returned as a JSON web token, or JWT, signed by Google. This is what the raw metadata contained in the token looks like. Note it includes the VM's identifying information as well as an expiration time. This JWT expires within an hour, so we don't have to worry that it'll be stolen and reused. Great. Now that you have this metadata JWT, you can just pass it to Vault and request an authentication token under the role that we created earlier. Let's do that. Vault will confirm via VM's identity and return an auth token and lease information showing how long this token is valid. Now that we have this token, we can use it to get our payments API key from Vault. And now we have our API key. 
So with that, we have Vault up and running on GCP with the GCP backend for authentication, and our developers can keep their payments API key safe. Andy, if other developers have questions on setting this up, where can they get for information? So check out vaultproject.io and look up documentation on the GCP auth backend. It's been great to work with Google Cloud on Vault. Thank you, Andy. I agree. You can also check out our blog post linked below that details all of your authentication options and other HashiCorp and Google collaborations. See the link in the description below. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We hope you found this series on using HashiCorp Vault with GCP helpful. Check out the links in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.